how are you going to design the life that you love if you're not even willing to get clear about what you want? Hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by. I'm in the greenhouse enjoying some afternoon coolness. We got uh, springtime showers and diverse weather going on. And um, and at home, my roof is leaking, and I've about had enough of my own BS. And so most of this post is to me uh, or for me, but it's also for you because I know I'm not alone. I know that it's part of the human condition to procrastinate the things we know we need to do, to feel disempowered about asking for help when we need help or about just doing things for ourselves instead of waiting for someone else to do them for us. Um, all that, that's just the dynamics of life. Um, but I think a lot of times we let life go by and by and by and by without without saying what we want. And maybe it's because we don't have the time or take the time to decide what it is. Um, but a lot of times, I think we've decided what it is and we're repeating that thought over and over in our head, only we're not acting in accordance with that. We're, we're saying that over and over again and then we're countering that with limiting beliefs, subconscious self-sabotage, all kinds of things that get in the way. So we spend a good deal of time just kind of being miserable going like, why don't I have what I want? However, I'm learning there is a better way. By getting real clear about what we want, getting real clear about what's holding us back, what behaviors are self-sabotaging us, and flipping the switch on those, getting rid of the stuff that doesn't serve us, examining those beliefs and saying like, huh, does it really serve me to think like money is the root of all evil, for example? No, because I got good things to do with money. So um, just examining those and shifting them, and depending on how deeply rooted they are in our subconscious and how ingrained they are in our environment and our habits. It might, it might take various degrees of help, various degrees of work to actually make that change. I'm finding even after I saw that I had limiting beliefs and, and got determined to change them, it wasn't as easy as I, as I hoped it would be. It wasn't quite as easy as flipping a switch, even though it is, on the one hand, it's exactly that easy, like tuning a guitar string, flipping a switch. However, uh, you gotta keep doing it. And um, I like the analogy of washing your hands. Like, if you have the habit of getting your hands dirty a lot and not in the habit of washing them, it takes some practice to get in the clean hand habit. And the same with clean mind, good, self-serving thoughts as opposed to self-sabotaging thoughts. If you've been in the habit of self-sabotaging thoughts or stinking thinking, as it's sometimes called, or ants, automatic negative thoughts, those are called automatic for a reason. They happen when you're unconscious. They happen automatically if you're not deliberately, actively switching them, if you're not deliberately putting habits in place to transform those limiting beliefs, overcome those automatic negative thoughts, put better, more positive automatic thoughts in their place, then that's what you're going to get. And uh, I hope you like it. <laughs> that's what I got to say about that. I'd love to know if you have any thoughts on any of that that you care to add. As always, you can find lots of ways to connect with me and support me in the description. And I sure wish you would. Check out the greenhouse a little. Got some blue hydrangeas. Until next time, I wish you love, lightheartedness, peace, positivity, potential, and don't forget to play every day.